Now we'll begin the animation process. I'm going to name each of the components, starting with the wings. And with the body and the eye, now that they've been UV'd, I will shift select them, holding down the space bar, mesh, and combine. And I'll name it body. Before we begin animating, we need to make a group of the model. I'll marquee select the components, hit command G, and I'll rename it in the channel box. And now I'm going to go to my front view. We want the wings to flap like a bird's. I'm going to reposition where I'd like the wings to start at keyframe 1. I'll put them in a down position. And I'll be sure that my playback head is rewound to frame 1. I could use the toolbar at the far right or I can drag it manually. You'll see that frame number 1 appears in the editable numerical box to the left of the toolbar. I'll shift select both wings and I'll choose freeze transform and then I'll right click on rotate Z key selected. The Z axis is the one that is perpendicular to the front view. Now I'm going to go to frame 50 by dragging to the timeline or I could place it numerically in the editable box next to the toolbar. Each one I'll select individually and put it in the opposite direction. If I were to drag my playback head through the timeline, I've got the cycle I want. I would like it to repeat continually for the duration of the animation. But I need to duplicate the very first key frame and place it at frame 100 for the animation to be smooth. I'll shift and drag through the first keyframe. I'll know it's selected because the keyframe will be yellow. Right clicking and holding my mouse down, I'll go to copy and click. Now I'll go to frame 100, right click, hold down the mouse, paste, paste. And if I drag through, the wing on the right is completing the cycle. Now I need to do the same for the other wing. Selecting it, I'll drag through keyframe number one holding the shift, right clicking in the red, I'll choose copy, going to frame 100, right click, holding down my mouse, paste, paste. Now both wings are completing the cycle I want. But it stops at the frame 100. This is where we'll use our graph editor again to replicate that loop so that it's continual for the duration of our animation. Starting with the wing on the left selected, I'll go to the graph editor. Sometimes you'll see that the graph editor button might have gone away if it were on your dock already. You can see these empty black boxes. I know it's there and I could click on it. But if I needed to get to that feature again, I would go to Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. I'll select Rotate Z, and then in the Graph Editor, I'll click on Curves, Post Infinity, and Cycle. With the Graph Editor up, I'll select the other wing, and I'll do the same. Now, if I were to play my animation, It'll play for the duration of my time that's been allotted for the entire animation.